How's it going, everybody? On today's episode of the Running Report, I'm going to be talking about two of my favorite things, and that is technology and running. For me, having a GPS watch to track my distance and my pace is a necessity. But nowadays, the GPS watches are getting smarter. So let's talk about smart running watches. After killing off their own GPS watch, Nike has teamed up with Apple to release the Apple Watch Series 2 Nike Edition. It's essentially the same as the regular Series 2 Apple Watch, but it includes a custom Nike skin and Nike watch bands. The second version of the Apple Watch has built-in GPS, which really helps make this a better running watch. But in my opinion, it is still definitely a smartwatch before it's a running watch. But on the plus side, it's really easy to share your runs on social media. If you use apps like Strava, Map My Run, RunKeeper, things like that, it's just a tap of the watch after it's done and bam, it is uploaded. It also has really great wrist-based heart rate monitor. There are a few things though that make me cautious of getting it as an everyday running watch. One is when you're on a run, your hands are a little bit sweaty, trying to touch the touch screen and stop and pause your run can get smudges and just complicate the process. Viewing the screen in direct sunlight can also be very difficult. But my biggest concern is the battery. I'm worried that if I go out and do a 15 mile run, I'm worried that if I do a 15 mile run with heart rate monitoring, that the watch might not make it until the end of the run, especially towards the end of the day when I've already been using the watch throughout. New Balance is trying to compete with the Nike Apple Duo, so they teamed up with Intel to come out with the Run IQ. It runs on Android Wear and has access to all the Android Wear apps and works with both Android and iOS smartphones. New Balance added a customized run-centric skin on top of it, and it does all the normal smartwatch things, but with a few added features. With Bluetooth headphones, it lets you listen to music you have on your watch while on a run, and it also has the constant wrist-based heart rate monitoring. But of course, it has the necessity of the built-in GPS for that accurate run tracking. It's more affordable than the Nike Apple Watch, but it still has a lot of the same downsides, especially the battery life. But if you're someone who runs in the morning or runs shorter distances and really loves the convenience of sharing your runs with a tap of the wrist, then these two options might be for you. But if you're like me and would rather have a running watch first and a smartwatch second, then I'd recommend something along the lines of the Garmin Forerunner 235. This watch falls into the price range as the other two. It has wrist-based heart rate monitoring, an e-ink color display, and both GPS and GLONASS. The display is very easy to see even in direct sunlight and allows for the battery to last five to seven days depending on what smartwatch features you're using and how often you run. Speaking of the smartwatch features, with the Garmin Forerunner 235, you can read text messages, view the weather, you know, the, the basic smartwatch functionalities. It also syncs to your Garmin account through the Garmin Connect, and from there you can share your runs through Strava and other running apps, as well as view more details and a map of where you've ran. But the main focus is its running features like VO2 max, your cadence, your estimated recovery, and also programmed workouts. And these are things that the other watches like the Nike Apple Watch and the New Balance Run IQ can't do. But let's say you don't even want to wear a watch, but you still want to know how many miles you've run and your pace and cadence and things like that. Well, companies are starting to make smart shoes now that can do just that. Under Armour has released the Speed Foam Gemini 3 RE. These shoes have built-in computers that monitor pace, distance, cadence, and tell you when you need to replace your shoes. Having a shoe to tell you all this information is awesome, but in order to see it real time, you'll need to carry your phone with you. And you'll also need to have Map My Run open because that's what the shoes sync to. But another smart shoe on the market is the Ultra Torn IQ. It's a smart version of the Torn 3, 
and it has sensors underneath the sock liner to track you without needing your phone connected. But it's more of a pedometer style tracking, not GPS. The shoe is more focused on improving your running form and your gait efficiency. The sensors in the shoe will tell you where you strike, how often, and that way you can see if you're more of a heel striker, midfoot striker, or whichever. They'll also tell you your cadence and if you have any muscle imbalances. If you have it connected to your phone, you can see your pace and distance in real time through your phone's GPS. While I think smart shoes provide useful information, the high price for a short lifespan and the heavy reliance on your smartphone makes me cautious about trying them out. More advanced technology in our watches and our shoes are helping to make us run better and faster. That's it for today's episode. See you next time. Keep on running.